Kathleen Paris reports only three hospitals in the country offer this type of critical medical training. Sometimes there's a fine line between life and death. And at the University of Maryland Shock Trauma, it's staff like Carrie Miller who can make the difference. There's one who's left to go. Miller has another <laughs> title besides nurse. She's an Air Force major. We would fly to Iraq, Kuwait, Afghanistan. She's worked on the front lines as part of a surgical team which operated while under attack. A group of us were close enough that when it explodes, cut from the pressure waves, you kind of get deaf for a few seconds. The major is also the mother of three. When you're over there taking care of those soldiers, you realize that your kids are fine, they're taken care of, and they're safe. And this is somebody else's child that you're taking care of. And if one of my kids goes to the military one day, then it may be some other nurse that's taking care of one of my sons. So she's highly motivated to train other soldiers preparing to provide medical care on the battlefield. <laughs> I would do, I would try a hundred. Military teams from across the country now come to Baltimore for hands-on medical training in this highly specialized setting that boasts a 97% survival rate for its patients. Well, this uh, program provides us is the opportunity to see some of the types of patients that we could expect to see in a deployed setting. Um, particularly in Afghanistan and Iraq. It's educational for everyone. can't imagine um, my hearing going for seconds, trying to get my bearings. I can't imagine at times having to wear body armor because they're, you know, they're on high alert in this space. We can just claim the space because that's just abrasions. This is where the medevac helicopters land at the University of Maryland Shock Trauma Center. This hospital serves over 8,000 critical care patients each year. Many of the patients have gunshot wounds, and it's that kind of training the military personnel are hoping will help them in the war zone. In downtown Baltimore, Kathleen Cairns, Fox 45, News at 10. Air Force, Air Force Major Carrie Miller was awarded the Bronze Star for her service as a chief nurse for a surgical team in Afghanistan.